You know what? I, I agree with Max. And, and Max did something uh, w during his explanation or during his answer that I appreciated. Instead of calling, calling John Harbaugh John Harbaugh, he called him Jim. And that's important for this reason, because he mentioned <laughs> Greg Roman and Jim Did Harbaugh. I say Jim? Let's think back to two. Yeah, but that's good, though. I needed that. Listen, I got you. I'm going to pick it up right where you left off. Let's think back to 2000, to 2011 through 2014, when Greg Roman was with Jim Harbaugh, and they had an opportunity to get Colin Kaepernick. Co Colin Kaepernick, do you remember what happened? It was this amazing talent, and they ran offense in a way we'd never really seen in this league, and the league couldn't catch up to it. 160 yards against the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs. You, you get to the Super Bowl. You're actually four downs away from winning it in the red zone against the Baltimore Ravens, and the next year, you're really good again, and you go to the NFC Championship. Championship. And then people adjust it. So what's the second act? What are you going to learn to do, not only from the quarterback position, but from a schematics position, from a strategy position? What are you going to change about the way that you approach football? What are you going to change about the way that you align skill players with Lamar Jackson? Are you going to go out and actually get him a number one and say, okay, if you struggle throwing outside of the numbers, let me get you somebody that can help you do that. Let me get you someone that can win 50-50 balls where you don't have to be incredibly accurate, where you don't have to be right on the money, where you can't have a large catch radius. And so now it's time for the team to help Lamar Jackson. When I watched this team yesterday, they have the fastest quarterback in football, but the offense looks slow. The motions are slow. The routes develop slow. The misdirections don't misdirect anymore. And so now it is time for sure. Lamar Jackson has to be better. But the things that Lamar Jackson is struggling with are things we already knew. So if we know him, why doesn't Greg Roman and Coach Harbaugh know him? And the last thing I'm going to say and give it back to you guys, I don't mind John Harbaugh being mad. If you come stand in the middle of my field, if you have a team meeting in the middle of the field, I should be able to get to walk out and tell you what I think. And then after the game, we ain't got to be friends. That's not a rule. You don't get fined for not shaking hands. The only thing I'm mad about John Harbaugh walking out to the middle of the field was that he had to walk out by himself that the Tennessee Titans were ready to go to war before the game and nobody came with their coach. Hold on, Ryan. So when I hear Lamar Jackson say they wanted more, that to me says a lot because it seemed like they wanted it more from the beginning of the game and it well, didn't matter what kind of smoke it was. Ryan Clark, before I retort, uh, just for clarification, was Rabel at midfield with the team or was that just his players? Rabel, it was just the players. Rabel ended up coming out, though. They talked before the game. They yeah, had yeah. interaction no, what before I'm saying the is, game. And I, I basically I'm making the basically I'm making the assumption, and the key word is assumption, that the players decided to do that on their own. And then obviously John Harbaugh came out there, so Vrabel came out there. I, I, I'm assuming he didn't know that and he didn't participate in it. It's just that once John Harbaugh came out to midfield, Vrabel came out there as well. But that's neither here nor there. What I would say to you is this. I'm right about this, guys, because the question is, is it time to worry about Lamar? I said yes. Y'all just gave me reasons why. I talked about Lamar, but I also <laughs> talked about John Harbaugh. I never brought up Greg Roman, but the fact is he's a part of it too. If the head coach and the offensive coordinator aren't doing things schematically, aren't doing things motivationally to really inspire your quarterback and that offense around him, then that would be a strong cause for concern. And that was the question. I answered it. But the, there is a transitional period, an adjustment period, I think, that, there will, that we're mm -hmm. witnessing or that I question. Is, are they, like, how are they going to respond? You're not just going to go 25 yes. and 4, whatever it was, uh, against the league forever. You know, like, no one's ever going to do that. Mahomes won't do that. So eventually they're going to make adjustments. And then the question is, can you adjust back? That's what we're up to. The league has made the adjustments. Now we're waiting on Baltimore. It is too early to say, no, they can't do it. We're worried. That's what we're up to now. Let's see if they can. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.